Good morning, Bible Buddies. It's Miss Gail, and I hope this video finds you guys doing well. Um, I am so happy and glad to be back in your virtual presence and to be able to have some lessons with you. We'll do have some uh, virtual videos and we'll also do some Zooms. And so I'm excited and I hope that you guys are excited as well. So for the next couple of days, we're gonna be talking about faith, okay? And how faith can overcome everything, right? So you're probably saying, well, Miss Gail, what is faith? Well, we're gonna talk about that. So in order to know about faith, we must first know the definition of faith, okay? So let's open our Bibles. Everybody grab your Bibles. And we're gonna to turn to Hebrews 11 and 1. Okay, so Hebrews is in the New Testament, right between Philemon and James. Okay, I'll give you a little second. Try and find it. Hebrews 11 and 1. Okay, and so Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Okay, so as we talk about the definition of faith, it can sometimes still be a bit confusing, or the term can be a bit confusing. So the, the dictionary um, definition of faith is, faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something, okay? But we wanna make sure that our faith is in the right thing, right? And that's in the trustworthiness of God alone, okay? So, there are a lot of conflicting distractions and um, directions that tug at our attention, right? And so, especially in times of transition. So, transition, you know, that we're in a transition period now. You're in a transition period now where you may be going from summer break you know, some of you have already started school. Some of you are starting school. Um, at the time of this video, you'll be starting school. Uh, you may be going from one grade level to the next. You may be going from kindergarten to first grade. Congratulations. Uh, first grade to second grade, second grade to third grade, and so on and so forth. And so we want to make sure that we have faith in those transition periods. Okay? Right? So one of the great principles of faith is that it looks forward to the promises to come, right? So faith is not based on what we do or what we see, but who God is, right? So this lesson is going to aim to remind us that our hope is fixed on God and that he is our compass and he is our guide no matter what, okay? Make it anxious or confused a little bit. But he is our ultimate audience, right? So, what is faith? We've talked about it a little bit and related it to how we must trust uh, God in all things. Or how we trust, you know, our teachers. We're going to trust um, that we're going to get good grades. We're going to trust that at the end of our school year, we're going to have some new knowledge and some new insight, right? And that we're gonna get that A and get promoted to the next grade. Those are some things that we're gonna trust in or that we are trusting in. So what does faith mean according to the Bible? Okay, we're gonna read Hebrews again. Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see, okay? So, what does that mean? It means that we are looking forward to something that has not happened yet, right? We haven't come to the end of the school year. You know, um, some of us have started our Zooms, but we don't know what our tests are going to look like or our quizzes are going to look like, right? So, if you're willing to follow directions without knowing the prize, it means that you have faith. That whatever was coming at the end is going to be worth it. Okay? If you trust and hope in something in the future, 
You have faith that it will be something of value. Okay? So can you think of a time in your life when you had to have faith? I know I did. I can think of some things right now, right? Like I said before, we hope that we get good grades in school or that we meet new friends this school year or that the virtual Zoom classes won't be boring or that we get to go outside and play with our friends, right? It hasn't happened yet for some of us and we don't necessarily see it or we don't see it right away. We hope for the sun to come up every morning. The evidence is not there until the next morning comes, okay? We believe that Christopher Columbus discovered America, okay? None of us were there to see it, but we believe it to be true. And we cannot see the wind blowing back and forth, but we see the evidence of it when we see trees sway or leaves flying through the air. That is evidence of things not seen. Correct? Okay. So moving forward, we're going to have a few more lessons on faith. We're going to look at some characters in the Bible that uh, showed immense faith in God alone and the outcomes of that strong faith. Okay. So we're going to close in prayer. We're going to thank God for all that he has given us, okay? So, Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for those who have participated, God. We thank you for opening our hearts and opening our minds to know what faith is and that who the ultimate uh, of who we should have faith in, and that's Jesus Christ, God alone. We thank you for these students who have sat and who have opened their hearts and listened. We pray up. Uh, an abundant amount of blessings over their school year, over their learning, Father God. Pray for their teachers and their, their, their classmates, Father God. These and other blessings in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye.